It's 2 a.m. The bars have closed. Some jerks or some ex-boyfriend shows up at your house, hungry and drunk. What do you cook for them? I have an answer for you. The answer is Totino's party pizza. You know, you get them from your mom and they are not the highest quality of food in the world. They're basically a piece of cardboard with um, some sort of organ meat, probably. And uh, if you'll notice, there's not even an entire crust. It's not even the size of a basketball. This is the back side, by the way. But it's very light, like almost Play-Doh like meat on a pizza. Um, you, you pop one of these in the oven, but you can't just serve these straight up because they'll be like, oh man, can we have another one? And you'd be like, no, I only had one bad pizza. So this is what you do. You go into your fridge and you find the most filling white trash foods. You know you have it, that you know you aren't gonna eat, or you know it's got freezer burn, or it's outlived its expiration date. So here I've warmed up some tater tots um, to put on top of the pizza because it's, it's almost going to double the size of the food on the pizza. We preheated these in, in the microwave to, to make sure that they would crisp in the oven. Because, you know, even though you don't like these people, you still want them thinking, wow, those are crispy tater tots. So, that hopefully will put them to sleep. Now, for this pizza, we don't want to get out our, our bestest, bestest cheese. We'll get out maybe a slice of good old American cheese. Now, my mom used to do this back in the day, so so I know it's it's kosher. Um, we're not Jewish, but it's it's um, especially if you lay it flat on the pizza and you can see that it was a shape of square pe cheese beforehand. So, put on the American cheese. Sometimes you can just lay the whole square there. Also, Velveeta works great for this. And I just happen to have some kind of old Parmesan. It says, let's see, the expired date. Sell by March 27th. I ate it a month ago. It's not going to kill anyone, but still, it makes you look a little fancy. Oh, look at that. And you know what? For this one, I think... We might even go all out with a little bit of oregano, because seriously, these taste like cardboard. And I don't wish that upon anyone. We need a little green here too, as my mom would say. So, now is the time we're going to put all three in the oven and see how they hold up. And uh, hopefully we'll have some drums to serve by then. And here the DiGiorno pizza is done, and we're about ready to cut into it and take a bite. Notice that the pizza goes up to about an inch into the roller. Now you're going to want to have one of these. It's a pizza roller. Um, my mom uses an old scissors, but I don't recommend those, especially if you're cooking for drugs. Yummy, yum. Yeah. Insert Jeopardy theme. Okay, let's say you don't have a DiGiorno. It's the middle of the night. Well, let's check on that tombstone. Looks almost as high with the extra cheese, of course. And for those who prefer a thinner crust, pepperoni, ah! hamburger, olives. Friends of the wild. Oh, yeah. I want me a slice of that. 
it stays together a little bit better than the DiGiorno also. For that skanky Totino's party pizza. Ah, look at that. It looks, you know, interesting. How does it cut? Like cardboard. How does it taste? I don't want to know. In fact, I want to play hockey with this pizza. Look how skanky this pizza is. Oh my goodness. Nouveau Cuisine or White Trash Paradise? I do like how the color that the cheese turned. I think the oregano makes it look nouveau. Holy cow. What, do we have to butter the bottom of this or something? Cooking for drunks saves the day once again. Cheers! The evening's first happy maker. Cheers! Let's say it. My purse is a different time zone. <laughs> Jason Cornelius. Oh my goodness! It's hell out there! The copier jam! The printer's broken! The server went down! That stupid code red virus took over! I'm ready to just get out of here and come on! Take me away! Julie, 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 what you need is a Calgon. What you need is a vacation in a can! A vacation in a can? Yes indeedy, it's the latest greatest thing from Secret Travel Group Limited. Is it like bath salts? Oh no, it's much better than bath salts. It's a tiny little getaway in a refreshing can. That sounds about like what I need right now. You should try the three flavor flavor of vacation in a can. I could take it right now? You could take it anywhere you want it. Shh. Here it goes. Ah. Do I taste a little ginger? What you taste, Julie, is the Far East right there in your hand. Vacation in a can. Let's go around the world. Remember that time when E.T. and Charles got put in charge of Armed Forces Radio? They called the show Good Morning Charles the Rons. E.T. got censured for making insensitive remarks about Earth women and subsequently fired from the show. Charles, so dejected over the loss of his partner, moved to Paris, Texas and started a minor league baseball team called the Paris Scopes. Remember